All right, it took a month, but my custom wheel adapters came in from Motorsports Tech. These are the same guys I got my Boros spacers from, from the truck, and these are custom made. So I got half inch 20 lug nuts, these small lug nuts, which are made to fit inside the adapter here, uh, which will fit the Explorer axles. And then these are hub centric to the Explorer axles, and then they're wheel centric to the Beretta wheels. Uh, and these are changing the bolt pattern from 5x114.3 to 5x100. And these have M12 studs, even though these are half inch, uh, half inch 20 lug nuts, since the, uh, the Breda and the Explorer setup are different. All right, it's dark. As soon as I get off from work now, all the time. But I got one of these headband lights. And man, they are freaking sweet. Absolute life changer. And got a measurement here. And the Beretta is exactly 60 and 5 eighths, give or take an eighth. That gives me the info I need to be able to order my adapters from uh, Motorsports Tech to go from the uh, 5, 5x114.3 Explorer axles to the 5x100 Beretta wheels. Then I can take this thing out of my old man's side yard behind the garage, get it back to my house, and actually bolt these Beretta wheels on the Ford axle and get everything all mocked up underneath so I can get exact measurements. I've taken a bunch of measurements and I know exactly, you know, I know about where everything needs to be, but uh, I really need to see it in three-dimensional space. There's only so much planning you can do when it comes to mock-up versus uh, actually seeing everything in front of you. I probably have good enough measurements already to be able to build my lower control arms and my torque arm and stuff uh, and have the adjustability I need to get it perfect once everything's mocked up. But probably and actually are two different things, so I might as well make sure I got it right. Current clearance for the tire two quarter. That's about right in line with the inner lip here. So I'm definitely gonna have to round that lip. Uh, that's okay, I did that before with my other Beretta. <clears throat> that's a piece of cake. But that means I've got, let's see, to fold that lip back on itself. Yeah, I've got about an inch. <clears throat> if I fold that lip back on itself that I can gain on both sides. Boy, it looks like more than that. But that's what it is. Yep, check this side too. So the axle is centered, um, but the tire to the lip, I don't know if you can see from this angle or not, <clears throat> but the outside section width of the tire is exactly in line with the inner lip in here. So I can make a little bit more room by uh, rolling that lip, but there isn't going to be a ton. Even though it definitely looks like the tires are sucked way inside there, it's not as much as it seems. These are exactly one inch thick, and if I remember correctly, that gives me three-eighths of an inch. Uh, it's going to push the wheels out three-eighths of an inch on each side of the Beretta. Um, I'd have to go back and look again and see because it's been so long since I ordered these. But uh, there's a little bit of room to push the wheel out in relation to the quarter panel on the Beretta. And uh, this will do that. Because believe it or not, a Beretta has a wider track width than a Ford Explorer. Um, which maybe is where all those lawsuits came from where people were flipping Explorers and whatever. Um, but uh, this will uh, we'll make it the right track width. To use my beautiful 5x114.3 to 5x100 spacers, adapters, I guess, I've got to take these god-awful junkyard threads and clean them up with the uh, tap and die here, or die, <clears throat> and cut them down so that they're not going to poke past the face here where I mount the uh, Beretta wheel. One axle down, one to go. Hey, look at this. Math and measurements work. All good. Also going to drill a hole in my brand new diff cover, so I got a fill plug because the torque arm is going to uh, obstruct the factory fill plug. Mm. 
Eee, you know what this means, don't you? Out of gas. And this fill plug here is just an O2 sensor bung, and then an O2 sensor plug with an O-ring on it. Now we're talking. Sandblasted the nasty, rusty junkyard calipers. Well, I decided to rebuild these calipers since it's only four bucks a side. And once they're orange here and I can see something, you can see how nasty they really are. So, uh, what better time to open them up and get brake fluid all over than when you already painted them? But uh, <laughs> I think it'll be worth it. Ooh, just lost it. There we go. I gotta get the seal out. A little bit of WD-40 and some 400 grit. Clean those pistons right up. So rebuilding these is kind of being a nightmare here with the square o-ring going in. Um, they will not go in easily by hand. Doing the C-clamp is trying to push them sideways because it's hitting on the, that looks halfway centered, but not centered enough because it's putting side load on it, won't put them in. I'm going to try the arbor press at work. Ooh, what do we got here? This is a Chevy Beretta trailer hitch. Yeah, it's a little bit dusty. I'm betting they don't sell a whole lot of these. Uh, my buddy just bought one last year, year before, to do drag week with his Bretta. I got a video about him blowing his 3.5 up. But this one here, I got for uh, Bretta Fest. With the uh, little one now, there's a lot less room for cargo, and we got to bring a whole bunch more stuff. Uh, so this will let me pull a little trailer behind and be able to take what we need on the road trip. And hey, the 4.8's a truck engine. NV3500, truck transmission. Ford 8.8, and Explorer rear end. Uh, this will be the best towing Brutta on the planet. All right, this is a big moment here. So the fab work on the axle itself is officially all done. 